Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 22nd June 2023, G Aerospace has signed a memorandum of understanding with HAL to produce fighter jet engines for Indian Air Force, which is a major milestone amidst the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's official visit to United States and a key element in strengthening defense cooperation between the two countries. The agreement includes the potential joint production of G Aerospace F414 engines in India and G Aerospace continues to work with US government to receive the necessary export authorization for this. The effort is part of Indian Air Force Light Combat Aircraft MK2 program. G Aerospace has operated in India for more than four decades with wide engagement in industry including engines, avionics, services, engineering, manufacturing and local sourcing. In addition to potential new work in India, a number of US facilities that currently support work on F414 engine will see additional volume as a result of today's announcement. In 1986, G began work with ADA and HL to support development of LCA with F404 engines. Subsequently, G Aerospace F404 and F414 have been part of development and production of LC Mark I and LC Mark II programs. In total, 75 F404 engines have been delivered and another 99 are on order for LC Mark I. Eight F414 engine have been delivered as a part of ongoing development for LC Mark II. Today's agreement will advance G Aerospace earlier commitment to build 99 engines for Indian Air Force as a part of LC Mark II program. It puts the company in a strong position to create a family of products in India including F404 engine that currently powers the LC Mark I and Mark I aircraft and G Aerospace selection for the prototype development, testing and certification of the AMC program with F414 INS-6 engine. In addition, G will continue to collaborate with Indian government on AMC Mark II engine program. As per report, the following aspects of G engines will be produced in India and HL, which includes a special coating for erosion and corrosion, repair technology for turbine, compression disc and blades, coating and machining of single crystal turbine blades, machining and coating of hardened parts, complete tech transfer for blisk machining, machining of powder metallurgy, polymer matrix composition, laser drilling for combustion, bottle boring of shafts. The collaboration of jet engine production will begin soon as the deal between GE and HL is signed. It is likely that technology transfer will take place in phases with 80% of the value added to the engine occurring in India within three years. While US has agreed for machining and coating of single crystal turbine blades, what is not offered is the casting process of the single crystal blade. DMRL has already developed the vacuum investment casting process to produce state-of-art directionally solidified and single crystal blades and veins for aero gas turbine engines. The single crystal turbine blades and veins are produced by using orthogonal grain selector from advanced nickel-based superalloys. India must push US for production of single crystal blade using DMRL's technology in India and get it certified by GE. This is the one of the major challenge or roadblock with India's indigenous engine development. However, the deal is definitely going to be a remarkable step for developing the industrial ecosystem for aero engine. India should now focus on development of technologies that are not being transferred as a part of this deal. India must plan ahead for development of more powerful engine that could power AMC Mark II fighter jet in future. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.